Hello, everybody. Yesterday, there was an article posted to WCCF Tech talking about this Elder Scrolls Imperial City uh, from the game Oblivion uh, brought into the Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, it looks cool and everything. Here's the video. Maybe I'll link it in the description if I remember to. It looks pretty good. He's got the water going on. But doesn't really talk about how to do anything with it. And he says, this is a personal project. It'll never be released. So I saw this and I, I immediately was intrigued. I wanted to do this. So I downloaded a couple tools, got myself uh, Oblivion reinstalled, and I got to work figuring out a workflow to do this. There's a couple of programs that you're going to need. NIFScope is going to be one program you're going to need, which is part of the NIF tools thing. It's an old program. It hasn't really been updated in a while. Unless I'm wrong, I haven't really looked, but what I found works. So that's what I'm using. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. There you go. Um, open up your meshes. And since we're doing Imperial City, let's just go to Imperial City. So that's that's set up for now. Next thing you're going to need is the editor for Oblivion. And it's also, uh, you know, the construction set, if you don't know. And you're also going to need it to extend it with the construction set extender thing that requires OBSE and all of these other things. But... I don't know if you really need that. It just kind of makes it a little bit better. Uh, uh, did I mess up? I, I got to open up as administrator, I think. There you go. CD that. There, now that works. And this is running with the extender enabled on it. But like I said, I don't think you really need it. Uh, so let's open up. And I don't know how to use any of these programs, so if it looks like I'm fumbling, I am. That's how you learn, by the way. You learn by doing and fumbling. Now, what's this window doing? I don't need you. Okay. Uh, we are going to Imperial City. Let's do Market District. So we got the Market District right here. The way this works is weird. I, 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 I hate the construction set. The controls suck. Uh, what, 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 what button am I pressing? What button will let me do what, please? There you go. Shift does it. Okay. Cool beans. Um, yeah, this is, this is a really horrible program. I don't know how anyone makes anything with it. So, we have the layout of the market district. We have a program that could read the object files. And I didn't show this yet. We have Unreal Engine 5 set up with the world. Cool. So we're most of the way there. Let's start with something simple. We got Market Street. Double click on that. It'll pull up this, which will have the coordinates on it and the name of the object, IC Market Street 01. So, we got IC Market Street 01 over here. We're going to export that as an OBJ. And I'm just going to put this in its own folder IC Market Street 01. We're going to call it IC Market Street 01. So that's exported, and I'm going to open up Cinema 4D because that's my 3D program of choice. Because I noticed if I import it directly right away, it's a little screwy, so we got to do something first. And I'm not sure how to do this in Blender or anything else, but if you get the general gist of what I'm doing, then you should be able to translate that over to whatever the heck you use. So let's open it over here. We want to swap that, I believe. Yeah, 
So we want to swap that. We want to rename this to the name of the object. And then you have these materials here, which are on different sections of the geometry. So let's figure out what's what. Uh, select polygons. Deselect. I want the middle first. Okay, so this, this material right here is what? Oh, I could just double click it over here. I'm smart sometimes. Okay, so this is cobblestones. And I, I downloaded a texture pack and I extracted it and then I took the Imperial City uh, texture folder and I converted converted all of the DDS textures to PNGs to make my life easier. Get everything going here. So we got the cobblestone. We got, I see sidewalk 01 and we have I see sidewalk 02. So now all of the materials are set there. And to make things even easier, we're going to, uh, I didn't mean to do that. We are going to delete that, that I just did a mistake. I don't want to, there, yeah. We're going to rename the materials. There you go. So those are all named and I'm going to save the project right here. Um, I see, I see market. I see market district, um, and next thing we got to do is remember how we had all of these coordinates. Well, I'm going to put them over here because I want them on the screen so I could, I could see them. They're on the other monitor. You can't see them. That's fine. So we are going to put this where it's supposed to be. And make sure I'm getting my, yeah, it uses different coordinates than Cinema 4D. Y is up over here. So we got, this is where it is on the map, on the world, according to the origin. So this is correct now, the location. So let's go one step further. And bleh. oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Uh, let's just grab icy outer wall 01. Put that over there for me. So let's find icy outer wall. Export it. So there, icy outer wall 01. Met set. We are going to. Uh, actually merge so that is set and I'm going to move that where it's supposed to be yeah that's right and then we want to make that minus 120 aha it's on textured obviously you can see that and it's in the right place now. So we're just going to zoom out. That The camera controls in Cinema 4D are weird, but it's better than a lot of other things. Uh, so let's take a look. It's in a book. We got... So just to be done with this video sooner and to show you results sooner, I'm not going to bother um, doing any other changes, at least right now. Uh, the, the other changes I would do, obviously, is changing the names of all of these materials down here to what the materials are called and also adding the normal maps that exist. Um, so I'm just going to take uh, these and we are going to export them to FBX files. And uh, that one, export it. Yes. So those are exported. Now let's go over here. 
putting everything together. Uh, together. Right, thanks. And, Okay, that imported. We got all of the materials, and we have more. Most importantly, the object. So we're going to put that at zero, and there's the outer wall. So there's that. We're going to save that. And there's further tweaking uh, that needs to be done, but this is just showing you the base of uh, everything here. So the next thing we're going to do is, what was it? I see Market Street 01 or something like that. We're going to import that, and we're going to put that in here. And there's the street. And obviously, you keep doing that, for every single object that needs to be added until you build up as many things as you want from uh, Oblivion in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, like I said, there's no normal maps right now. I have, to, I have to throw those in here. But this was just a really quick video on how to do this, sharing the knowledge uh, from my curiosity and how to basically recreate what this guy said he wasn't going to release. Which I understand. It is probably not legal to release it, but you could at least tell people how you did it. Uh, I'll see you later.